Uh, greetings, I'm Mr. D again here with another example problem. This time around we are going to deal with the parallelogram of forces. So the parallelogram of forces rule states that if two forces act on a point and they move in different directions, then the resultant will be the diagonal of the parallelogram for, formed with the, with the two forces. So with me here, I do have two forces acting on a point, uh, 50 Newton pulling force acting 30 degrees above the horizontal line. Then we have a 70 Newton force acting eastwards. So we are required here to find the resultant force using the parallelogram of forces method. So this is what you do. You redraw this diagram and you make it your space diagram. So I'm gonna redraw now uh, the given system of forces. Your space diagram is not drawn to scale, but you have to make sure that the angle, uh, the one that we have there, 30 degrees is correct. So here I go with my space diagram. And I'll draw an angle of 30 degrees. I'll simply use my set squares to do that. This angle is 30 degrees. There is my 50 Newton, and there is my 70 Newton. I will label this diagram space diagram. A space diagram is simply a working diagram. We can also call it a form diagram. So underneath now, I have to draw my force diagram or vector diagram. We can call it that way. Then you have to, discuss, uh, to, to come up with a scale that you have to use. I will determine a scale here. I think I can use a scale of one millimeter is equals to one Newton for my force diagram. So meaning when I draw now, the 70 Newton force, uh, let me write the scale here. One millimeter is equals to one Newton. This will be my force diagram. Right, I'll draw my 70 Newton force. That will be 70 millimeters. There is 70 Newton. And from this point, the 50 Newton force that is acting 30 degrees, you can use your protractor, but for an angle of 30 degrees, I can simply use my 60 by 30 degrees set square. And that line is 50 newtons, meaning it has to be 50 millimeters. All right, there is my 50 millimeters. Right, you now then complete a parallelogram using those two sides. Already you can see that we have two sides of the parallelogram. What we just need is to complete the parallelogram using your set squares. So if you know how to draw up lines that run parallel to each other, this will be easy. I complete the parallelogram.
Right, then you join now the diagonals. So when you, once you join this diagonal, then it means this is your resultant force. So I can simply label the parallelogram, probably say A, B, C, and D. So your resultant force R is equals to AD. So you measure the distance of AD. There is my AD. I get 116 millimeters. And then according to the scale that I've been using, 116 will be equal to 116 newtons. <coughs> you then also are required to measure this angle. So if you can use your protractor, you realize that angle will be 12 point four four degrees. So when you write your answer now in full is your resultant is 116 newtons and acting at 12.44 degrees above the horizontal line. And the direction, the general direction will be north East.